Hey guys, and welcome to the show. Today I'll be talking about this, the M4 Terminator. It's a water gun blaster. It's not an airsoft gun, but pretty much kind of looks like one. Um, basically, it's one of the first gel ball blasters, which is mag-fed. So what that means is that gel balls get fed in here, as opposed to a hopper fed where gel balls get fed into here. But the cool thing is is that basically you can make your gel ball blaster look pretty cool. Now the thing is the only things I've changed on this um, blaster is the fact that I've put on some um, uh, backup sights and also this um, holographic sight here. The reason why I've done that is because you get these plastic sights which are a little flimsy and if you're probably playing you know um, with your friends and stuff like that you, these will probably fall down or whatnot um, and also since the gun is made out of plastic even to the point where the inner barrel is a plastic tube the accessories that actually came with it felt really loose and flimsy um, even right now I'm using the battery pack which powers the entire thing it's it does move back and forth so there's no actual way to actually lock that down even this um, angled uh, forward grip um, is a little bit loose because it's all held down by a button that's over there so you can move it back and forward um, my suggestion if you are going to get this uh, blaster is to replace it with, um, you know, something a bit more solid. Um, also, it comes with these blue things here. The safety is um, does work. Um, you can choose between safe, semi, and auto, but on this um, gun here, it doesn't actually do semi only full auto. So if you select it in semi, it actually, uh, I'll just make sure this is empty. Yep. So if you select semi, it shoots uh, still full auto and full auto doesn't. So, also the the mag release is not ambidextrous, it's only on one side, so there. Um, there is a weird release thing there, but that's not going to release your um, mag. Um, charging handle. Charging handle is a fake charging handle. Doesn't do anything. Um, bolt catch obviously doesn't do anything here, but it's just there if you need it. If you, want, if you just want to make it look like a bit of cosplay thing. So, also the design is based off the um, Salient Arms Grey. So as you can see here, it's got a uh, jailbreak stock. Also, it's a uh, quad rail, so you can put as many accessories as you want. So you can put in your lights and everything like that. But it does make the gun pretty feel front heavy or whatnot. So just be aware of that. Um, also, it's got an adjustable stock. Um, it's adjustable to six faces. So if you've got long arms, you can actually get it all the way up there, but as you can see the stock is a little bit flimsy as well, so don't extend it out too far. Um, the other issue that I had with this was that this bit here um, wasn't actually locking into place uh, properly, so what I had to do is that I had to actually take the stock off, undo the screws here to put this tube into two pieces, and then um, pretty much make sure that the latch was on properly, then screw it back in. That makes it nice and solid though. But the stop feels a little bit, um, a little bit loose or whatnot. But what can you expect from a, it's really a toy gun at the end of the day, which is made out of plastic. Um, so yeah, so like I said, externally, it looks really cool made of plastic um, so if you do drop it you will probably crack it or whatnot um, but overall as a first generation GBB rifle highly recommend it 
Um, so, someone's also asked, how do you load up these magazines? So I'll quickly show you. Um, what you do get is this ball, uh, ball here. Um, and there is a filling hole over there. So what you do is that you just get the bottle and you fill it up through like that. Also, once you've actually filled that full of um, gel balls, my advice is if you actually um, filling this up from empty, put in some gel balls in the uh, top here. It's going to take a bit of effort, but what this stops happening is basically dry feeding, um, which can be a bit annoying when you're uh, playing a game with your friends and you just put in a new mag and you can't shoot them because you got no gel balls in the tube. Because basically what happens here is that the gel balls get pretty much stored in here and there's a tube that actually goes in here and there's an actual mechanism that actually feeds them into the tube. So what happens there is that when this compartment gets empty and the Thing can't feed anymore, there's going to be a whole bunch of balls that's going to be uh, left in there. So like I said, when, you, when you're coming in dry, you'll need to fill it in, but if you're playing a, um, a game with your friends and you've been um, running out of um, ammo in your magazines, you just pretty much just need to fill it up in there. So once it's all loaded, just make sure it's safe or whatnot. You can load it up in here. And you can start shooting. So with mag based, what also happens is that when even if you think the magazine's dry or whatnot, and you're actually ejecting the mag, what can happen is that since there might be some um, gel balls in between the actual um, plunger and also in the mag, they'll fall out from this gaping hole here. N don't be too concerned. That's pretty normal. Um, throughout the test that I've been doing with this gun, that's that's been happening, but. It's fine. It's no B. So the next thing you probably want to see is this thing actually firing. Um, like I said, I'm just putting some gel balls in there. Um, but before we continue, I should probably put on some glasses and shoot, shoot some rounds out the window. Here we go. So that's. This is a weird angle to be shooting it out, but that's okay. So the range at the moment I can actually, well, I don't have the camera ready here, but I can actually get it pretty much over a house or whatnot and pretty much get halfway to the next house. So the range is pretty good here. It's It shoots um, pretty consistently. Um, unfortunately, there's no hop-up unit that you can actually adjust. Um, I'm not too sure whether or not there is a fixed hop-up there or whatnot. Um, so yeah, but other than that, you know, for, for a first-generation gun, it shoots pretty accurately, um, especially over, I'd say, maybe 20 meters or whatnot, um, as you can see, so I'm going to take out the magazine, do it this way, so take out the magazine and you'll probably see the BBs fall out. So this magazine, I believe, holds around about 100, 100 rounds. Um, that's 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 pretty good. Um, my suggestion is to probably get maybe three. Um, it does come with one magazine, so you can get yourself a couple more. There was around about five hundred or so in here, so and that's taken you know quite a number of mags just to get it down to that level. So I wouldn't be too concerned around um, how many you would get. Um, the gel balls actually come in a packet of 500 so they may not look like much when you get it out of the packet but when, as soon as you put the water in they actually do the same. Um, so yeah that's 
pretty much it with the M4 Terminator. Highly recommend getting it. Um, I got mine off um, Armored Heaven. This is in the sponsored plug. So that's it pretty much from um, about the M4 Terminator right there. Um, it's a nice hefty size once you've put on everything here. Um, basically, you know, what I would recommend is to probably, if you're not really happy with the current fire rate, because at the moment the fire rate that you could saw out of this was a 6 volt fire rate, um, basically you can put in like a 7.4 volt um, LiPo battery and that should increase the fire rate. It won't change the, um, the FPS or anything like that but at least you're going to get a nice, uh, nicer fire rate. Um, but if you're happy with the 6 volt, stick with the 6 volt. It's still going to fire the same, nice and accurate and everything like that. Um, that's, if you want, that's probably the one um, upgrade I would do. Um, but out of that, it's a pretty cool gun. Uh, yeah, go check it out. I'd buy it again if you want another one. Uh, yeah. Although, my other complaint is that fire selected there, as you can see during the tests, it was the, the fire test out the window. Um, it didn't fire properly. So, if you are going to get into um, gel ball shooting, uh, just make sure that you wear get a pair of these because what can happen is that when you shoot the gel balls out they can ricochet and possibly get you in the eye even though they're pretty soft um, like I'll grab one here they can actually um, turn into small pieces so it's still a projectile but you know just take care of your eyes or whatnot so highly recommend some you know eye protection here and this thing here even though it doesn't fit my head um, I actually got um, with the um, with the blaster and that's it thanks for watching if you liked the video like and subscribe thanks for watching and I'll catch you around signing out bye